It's time for The Bachelor to move out of the mansion and head to some exotic locations, as frontrunners for Joey's final rose emerge, as well as a seasoned villain. And with this latest preview, it looks like we're going to be seeing a two-on-one showdown between Maria and the lady who's managed to unite Bachelor Nation in frustration, Sydney. So what can we expect for this two-part special and who's going to get the boot back to the States? Well, let's check this preview out and, as per usual, please, no posting any outright spoilers in the comment section below unless you can back it up with sleuthing and a link to the full preview is in the description. It's a special two-night Bachelor event, Monday and Tuesday. I'm excited to be in Malta. So next week we're going to be getting double the content as there are going to be episodes both Monday and Tuesday. Now I'm not entirely sure why. I mean the following week that Monday is President's Day but that shouldn't interfere with the show airing. My best guess is that they're trying to rush in an episode or two so the season can end a week earlier in order to avoid episodes overlapping with something else. For example they didn't want to compete with Monday Night Football when the Golden Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise were airing, so they switched that to Thursday nights. It could be that American Idol is starting a new season this month, and at some point that goes from Sunday nights to both Sunday and Monday, so perhaps they're trying to end the season before that begins. If you have theories or insight on this, let me know in the comment section below. But yes, this Monday and Tuesday, the show will be making its way to Malta, where here we see Kelsey A getting one of the one-on-ones for the week. This voodoo doll lady's been slowly working her magic on Joey, and at this point, I like her chances. She's quite present in the season previews, and up to this point has been really keeping to herself and staying positive. Not to mention she was rewarded with a group date rose last episode, and you can expect her to get one here as well. Moving on. It's crazy to stay at this stage, but I do feel like my wife is here. He is the man of my dreams, and I'm falling for him. Alright, pausing here, because at face value, this section of the preview is a little confusing. Now first, we get a look at a gladiator-style date for next week, which, from past previews, has some... interesting moments. <laughs> Then this is followed by a look at the other one-on-one -on -one with Lexi, aka Mrs. Wright. However, after that, we have a third one-on-one -on -one with Rachel, which is interesting because if we go back to this shot right here, we can see Rachel is on this group date. That's a pretty wild jump to go from gladiator to hot Spanish dancing. However, this is all explained away with the info that we're getting two episodes next week. So this date with Rachel is likely going to happen on Tuesday night after the gang leaves Malta and heads to Ronda, Spain, a location that was previously sleuthed out in the first look preview breakdown. And actually, while we're here, looking back at this shot, we can also see Kelsey A. So perhaps Kelsey's one-on-one -on -one isn't in Malta, but rather is in Spain like Rachel's. However, if that's the case, who's getting the other one-on-one -on -one in Malta? Well, I have an idea for that as well, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see more of the preview before we talk about that. I want to see if our worlds can collide. I just feel like a happiness in my heart that I've never felt. I'm not falling, you know, but I'm like tripping, like I'm starting to trip. Okay, so most of this section is just more footage of dates we already know are happening, but then we get this shot with Joey and Jess. Now, it's not a clear picture of her, but it sure does seem like Jess, not to mention they wrote J plus J in paint right here for Joey plus Jess. So, does this mean Jess gets the other one-on-one? -on -one? Mm, I don't think so. This could easily be from a group date. And if it were from a group date, well, with the Malta group date being this gladiator one, and Jess then making it to this paint date, then we know that Jess will be getting a rose next episode. Same goes for Kelsey and Rachel, considering they have dates in Spain, but those two are rising contenders anyways, so that's no surprise. And also, yeah, this could be from a one-on-one -on -one date, but I have other ideas on that front. So again, let's keep going. I want Joey and I to just continue to build our connection with no drama. Peace, love, and positivity. You kind of like switch up 
I'm just like literally trying to like get through this. Now there is someone who could actually be going home in the next couple of episodes. Though if this one-on-one -on -one with Kelsey is indeed in Spain and not Malta, which definitely appears to be the case, we can spot Medina in the background here and thus she must make it past Malta to Spain. However, Medina is caught up in too much drama and that's really the only screen time she's getting, so I have high doubts that she'll make it past Spain. Also, this whole Medina, Maria, and Sydney drama has been stretched out way too far for how small and how stupid it actually is. So something's gotta give here, and this upcoming week it looks like it's finally going to be put to rest, which we'll see ahead. Grow the f up, bitch! Joey's trying to find his wife, and it is 110 percent not Maria. Okay, what was it that Sydney said last week? And I've tried to squash the situation with Maria, and I'm sorry that you guys didn't get time, but it just had to be addressed. And I'm trying to squash it, I truly am. Then girl, you're really gonna try harder because Maria's name is living rent-free in your mouth every time you speak. But my oh my, do we have a truly traditional one-on-one -on -one coming next week, and I believe this is going to be taking the place of that second one-on-one -on -one next episode in Malta. And when I say this is going to be truly traditional, I mean it's not just a typical two-on-one, -on -one, it's a two-on-one -on -one between a villain and their mortal enemy. This is classic Bachelor. And collecting up all the past previews and scouring through them, we can find everything we need to know who gets sent home here. But first, let's finish off this preview before we go into eliminations. We need to talk. I do have a little bit of a game plan. Maria started attacking me. The question is, is Maria who I think she is or not? Is this something you can look past? Truthfully, I don't know. And there you have it, the preview ends with Joey trying to decide who he believes. And let me tell you, I burst out laughing when Sydney said, Maria started attacking me. Like how many times can you say that before the man starts to wonder, is Maria just immediately attacking Sydney the moment she walks into the room because every time we speak, Sydney seems to be getting attacked. But don't worry, Sydney is indeed the one going home on this date. All we need to do is go back to this shot of the two-on-one from the first look preview, take a look at Joey's outfit, and match it up with this shot from the season preview to see Joey sending the very blonde Sydney packing. There's also a TikTok that the official Bachelor page posted to hype up the season that includes this moment. And I'm getting closer to finding someone who I cannot live without. I don't know how I can continue being here. I'm leaving. So yeah, a much clearer picture of Sydney hitting the back of a van, meaning she won't be making it to Spain and Maria will be free from this drama. Now as for other eliminations, well, with the footage we have, it's hard to pin down exactly who goes when in the next two episodes, but based on the amount of screen time they've received and how little they're seen in the previews, I'd expect Autumn, younger sister Allison, and Medina to all be on the chopping block at some point along with Sydney. I also have my eye on Edwina, mostly because of this shot from the first look preview. Looks like it could be in Spain, considering we have the Spanish flag right here, and Looking through the women, I don't think I see Edwina. Also, Leia and Caitlyn are options for eliminations at some point, based on their screen time with Joey, but Caitlyn has gotten a group date rose and has some romantic footage from the preview, albeit not from a one-on-one, -on -one, so she could very easily make it a little further. Still, along with the first four women I mentioned, any of these women could be gone by the Spain rose ceremony on Tuesday. So that's it for this preview breakdown for week 4 and 5 of The Bachelor. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts and theories for the episodes ahead down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take, out. And I'm trying to squash it, I truly am. Maria started attacking me.